tutorial of websockets in aws so let's get started so what are websockets websocket is a protocol for creating a fast two way channel between a web browser and a server so in simple words websockets are for communication between the client and the server so you can transfer your data between the two just like the api so what are, what is the basic difference between http apis and websockets in http apis first the client connects to the server it sends a connection request then server accepts it the connection gets established then the client sends the data server responds the client with that data and the connection gets closed but in websockets the connection is established then the client can send any number of requests to the server and server can also send any number of requests or response to the client and this communication is there until the client disconnects the socket or the server disconnects the socket so this is the benefits of web sockets over http apis so for this tutorial what you need you need basic understanding of what are the http apis you need basic knowledge of uh, aws how it works and python okay so let's move to hands on so what we are going to do we uh, we, we have opened the uh, api gateway of aws i'll click on create a new api then uh, websocket api now i will give uh, the name of my api which is uh, websockets underscore youtube and i'll also mention root selection expression we will understand it later uh, we will be using it for uh, different apis so my root selection expression is action uh, this body is json body and this request is the request so i'll click on create api now the api is ready now we have some things to configure here one is connect disconnect and default so what is connect whenever a client connects to the server uh, this connect dollar connect will be called so now what will happen when dollar connect will be called you can invoke a lambda function you can call a http api you can uh, also mock it or you can call a aws service so for this tutorial we are going to have a new lambda function which will be called when a client is connecting to the websocket server so what we are going to do we are creating a new lambda function here i'll name it as as socket websocket on connect the runtime will be python we will be coding it in python and we will be using a new basic lambda permissions role here so uh, we what we are going to do in this connect uh, lambda function is uh, we we so we are simulating a chat environment here because websockets is generally used for uh, chatting purpose so that's for the chat application so what we are going to do when a user gets connected we will be taking the user id of that user and we will be storing that user id against the connection id given by the web given by the websocket so here is a lambda function let's uh, start um, uh, coding it so we will be taking the connection id which will be provided by the aws websockets so it we we, we get it in uh, the request context connection id is the key we will also be needing the user id which we will be taking in the query string of the socket url so the query string parameters and user id will be the key we also need to store the uh, connection of the user id and the connection id somewhere so what we are going to do is we are storing it in dynamo db dynamo boto3 dot resource dynamo db dot table okay so we also have to have some imports here go to core also 
okay now we will be creating a new table in DynamoDB DynamoDB create a table we will name it as, as online connection and uh, our connection so we will name it as token token will be the connection ID we will be creating it so the DynamoDB table is ready and now what we are going to do is we will be creating a JSON object to push into uh, the DynamoDB table user ID will be user ID and uh, token for token it's in small case token will be the connection ID our JSON object is ready now let's push it to dynamo dot put item okay I think we are done here now we will be now we will be returning the success response to the client that the connection is successfully established so these are this is the basic uh, this is the basic json structure which the aws uh, socket understands 200 will be the status code we will also give some headers here status will be success and uh, body success you can also use the same thing okay I think we are done here let's save it and now we will configure this lambda function in our API gateway in the connect integration request websocket on connect uh, so this is a very important parameter use lambda proxy integration so all the lambda uh, integration that we are doing is based on this so the connection ID the user ID everything we will get from uh, this proxy integration so let's save it okay so one thing I think uh, we missed out is we have to give permission of DynamoDB to this uh, lambda function so we will go to IM management console here and uh, we will be adding the inline policy service will be DynamoDB so why we are doing this is uh, this lambda function will not have access to uh, the DynamoDB and we have to do it so for now we are giving complete access of DynamoDB to this uh, lambda function but you can also restrict it it will be web socket policy create policy and now this lambda function has access to the DynamoDB also so let's test it so for testing it we need to go to API gateway this is done now we need to deploy this API we have to define a new stage dev then deploy and now we'll get a websocket URL for, from AWS we have to use this for the connection so we will open the terminal I am using WS cat for uh, connecting you can use any other websocket client so WS cat is uh, you can install it using npm so user id is equal to ankit and it is connected so we just need to go to dynamodb and check if our record is available so we have it here 
the user id ankit is connected with this token and if we want to send any message directly from server to client we can use this url for that and for connection this is the url so now our connect method is ready now we need to uh, make a new lambda function websocket on disconnect so on disconnect we have to delete the dynamodb entry so websocket on disconnect python we will be using the existing role because it already has uh, the dynamodb rights okay it is ready now we will write a code to delete that entry from the dynamodb so let's get started with the imports boto3 import boto core and uh, we will be first taking the connection id request context and the key is connection id now we need to have an instance of dynamo here go to 3 dot resource dynamodb dot table name was online connection now we just need to delete it dynamo dot de delete underscore item we need to provide the key here key is equal to so the token will be the connection id i think that's all let's save it and configure this in the api gateway disconnect route disconnect and web socket on disconnect let's save it we need to again deploy the api in the same development stage dev and we need to connect it again okay so we have two items here one was the old one and one is the new one now when we disconnect it let's see if one gets deleted so the one gets deleted here so it's working so i think uh, we'll try it again it is created here once we disconnected it's get deleted so this is uh, our first part of tutorial we have understood how websocket works in aws we have configured the connect and disconnect lambda functions and we are storing something in dynamodb related to the user some small info and the connection id so in the next tutorial we will be understanding how to send a message to the user from the server and how a client can do can send a request to server and get response so stay tuned guys we will be coming up with the next tutorial soon thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye